The Sydney Film Festival is running uh, a package of four films by one of the great uh, directors of romantic melodramas in Hollywood in the 50s, Douglas Sirk. Douglas Sirk was born in Denmark. He worked in theatre and film in Germany. He fled the Nazis. He wound up in Hollywood. And by the 1950s, he was making a series of delirious melodramas at Universal. These include All That Heaven Allows, a film in which Jane Wyman plays a middle-class widow class distinctions in America, and it reflects the mid-50s when it was made to perfection. The Gardener is played by Rock Hudson, who was a favourite star of Douglas Sirk at this period. There's Always Tomorrow, which is a remake of a film made in the early 30s. It was made in 1956, stars Fred McMurray. Again, this as a middle-class man who's lost his way in life, uh, a bit, little bit bored with his wife, with his job, with everything really, until he meets again an old flame, played by Barbara Stanwyck. Very, very fine film. And then there are two Douglas Sirk films that are remakes of films made in the 30s by John M. Stahl, who was the Douglas Sirk of the 1930s. Uh, one of them is Magnificent Obsession. Um, in this, this is based on a novel by Lloyd C. Douglas. And in this, Rock Hudson is a playboy who lives an irresponsible lifestyle and causes an accident which brings about the blindness of a woman, played by Jane Wyman. And he's so shocked by what he's done, that he changes his life completely, becomes obsessed, a magnificent obsession, if you like, uh, to help this blind woman regain her sight. It sounds preposterous, but it's marvelously well done. It's one of the greatest melodramas made in the 50s. That's Magnificent Obsession. And finally, there's Imitation of Life, which was Cirque's last film, made in 1959, also a remake of a John M. Style film. Uh, this stars Lana Turner as a, a woman who becomes a, a, a very successful businesswoman, but mainly it's the story of an African-American girl who is so light-skinned that she passes for white. Now, this was a theme which was dynamite in the late 1950s, and so the film was in many ways quite controversial, but it's an amazingly moving and beautiful story. So four great films by Douglas Sirk, well worth seeing as part of the Sydney Film Festival program.